I got some yummy Chick-fil-A, so let me show you what all I got. I got all the goodies here, so let me get into the sandwich first. It's the maple bacon, and I got it with the regular filet. I had it last time, and it was so good. It smells so good, too. Look at the bacon, the cheese. I also got pickles on there. There's lettuce. It was so good last time. We got a bunch of fries, a, uh, and a medium of fry. Mm. Got a medium macaroni. Oh, it's so warm. Look at how gooey that is. I don't really understand the phenomena of mukbangers. I thought it died out like five years ago when everybody was like dying off of obesity. And I thought that like Nico Avocado was the last guy that can actually do that. And uh, apparently I was wrong. I don't know. Like there seems to be a giant resurgence of people eating very high calorie counts of food in one sitting. And I, it's kind of like an anomaly to me because here on YouTube, I don't think it goes very far. I don't think there are very many people on YouTube that are going to find places where they can watch somebody that eats potentially 10,000 calories. Uh, I know that there are plenty of people out there like watching the massage videos of like those Indian guys going like this to the back of your head and then like moving your arm out and then like slapping your wrists and your arms and stuff like that. Like that's okay. That's all right. The ASMR on that one makes sense because like when else are you going to have the sweet sensation of a tenderized man, an Indian man's hands on your, on your skin, those meated up those seasoned hands touching the back of your the back of your neck dude hearing those sweet sounds of that skin on skin contact is something different a uh, mustached indian man grinding his skin across your skin is something different but i can't really i don't i can never get behind the mukbangs personally i do not appreciate the mouth noises i don't know why so many people like hearing the mouth noises now granted i do believe this person if i'm gonna be honest with you okay i'm gonna call it out this person jelly bean or whatever her name is I do believe she's making feeder content. I know for a fact this is probably something that she's doing. Um, I know that there are probably dudes out there or there's probably a subreddit out there called, you know, hashtag beat off with macaroni and cheese or jelly bean beat off or something like that because the, the, the amount of mouth noises and the sheer quantity uh, that this woman eats is uh, anomalous, actually. Um, when I look at somebody like, for instance, Amberlynn Reed or if I'm looking at somebody even to a lesser degree like, you know, uh, Becky. I think this girl might actually have them beat in some cases, dude. Uh, she really goes for it. She really eats a lot of food. And in this video, there is going to be a before and after because she used to be super fitness oriented. She used to have a whole TikTok dedicated to fitness content, but I guess she made more money. <laughs> I mean, that seems like what it always comes down to is like you cave in, you, you, you abandon your you abandon everything you believe in because the prospect of earning more money. But is this sustainable? I don't know. I don't understand why so many people on TikTok like this particular type of content, but they do. But we're gonna get into it today, guys. I hope you can enjoy it. I'm not, but I'm gonna do it for you. This person's name is Jelly Bean Sweets, and they like to eat a lot of fucking food, but I think they're lying about that. I think they don't actually like to eat a lot of food. I think they're just doing it just to get the views. Yes. I, I think Chick-fil-A macaroni is probably my favorite. Yeah, probably. And then we also got a cheese sauce. Yeah, really think about the amount of food that she has already, dude, right? She's already shown off, like, what? The, the fries, the macaroni and cheese, which, by the way, are two sides. I don't know why you need two sides. That's actually kind of crazy to me. But you have two sides. That's like having a cake and putting three layers of frosting on top of the cake. You only need the one, you know? And even then, it might be a little bit too much. I think a lot of times people need to just cut that frosting in half, and that's really sufficient. But she's got that. she got the cheese dip, too. And you know what? This girl always likes to hit the pinnacle. She always, because three minutes, I guess, on TikTok is the sweet spot. Three minutes is the time that a lot of people like to get to. And for her, she's always going to hit that three minute mark. So she's going to, and you know what's crazy too, is that she's body slamming some of this food inside of a minute in some cases. And I'm, I'm actually crazed out by that because I don't even think I could do that in a minute. And I'm a dude. And you know what? I even know an, an, a Middle Eastern man that is six foot two and weighs like 240, big man, big, giant, massive, beautiful man, and he can eat a lot of food. I don't think I've ever seen him eat food that fast, but here we go. So let me dip it in here. Dipping it, dipping it, yup. 
Damn, dude. The way she eats is, I think, an exaggeration as well. I don't think she actually eats like this. I think she's putting on a show because the amount of mouth noises that she's making is insane, dude. Nobody makes that much. Nobody makes those amount of mouth noises, dude. It's insane. Like, she's like, I don't even know. It's like a camel with no teeth trying to, like, chew on a cactus or something like that. It's not real. Like, there's not something that's happening. And also, uh, I want to point out that her hair is very damaged. Uh, maybe not in this clip, but in... Sub subsequent clips I've seen, her hair has been fried. I have no idea what she's doing, dude, but she needed that protein mask. Mm. By the way, I love that us Americans have novelized things like cheese dip and made it, like, universal. Isn't that crazy? Cheese dip. That's so good. And then spicy sriracha. Sweet and spicy sriracha. A zesty buffalo. And then I love the little... Is Zesty Buffalo just gay buffalo? Somebody called me recently and they said, dude, David, you, you're you just such a zest fest. And I didn't know what Zesty meant at first. I was like, what do you mean? And then I had to Google it and I found out some terminologies. Zesty means gay. Like when somebody says you're a zest fest or you're zesty, they mean that you're homosexual or you're portraying a lot of homosexual tendencies. And I don't think I'm that gay. I don't think I'm gay at all, but I don't think I have that many homosexual tendencies. Like I have a tendency of like maybe moving my hands around and stuff like that, but I don't think that means I'm gay or anything like that. But uh, is that buffalo sauce just gay? No, probably not. But uh, anyway. Little containers. I uh, really think I want to, by the way, it's kind of crazy to even buy the Chick-fil-A sauce in general. Like have it in a fucking, to have the actual tub to have the actual ingredient in your hand is insane. Like, it's okay to get a little bit of, you get a little bit of those uh, little cups that they give you at the Chick-fil-A. That makes sense. But to have to buy the whole thing is kind of crazy, bro. And people sleep on it. People sleep on how many calories that shit will actually give you. A lot. Chick-fil-A sauces. So I got their ranch in the little eight ounce cup. And then I also got a large. What do you mean little? Eight ounce cup? Like, it's not a cup. It's a fucking. It's, it's a tub, so it's like an, a little eight ounce cup. It's kind of a crazy ass thing to say. Diet Dr. Pepper. Cap. Everybody was requesting this on Snapchat. I have that linked in my bio, so you should definitely check that out. Um, so I've been posting that. I don't even know why you tell us like, oh yeah, people requested this. So what? So what? You know, I've had people request me suck dick. Does that mean I'm gonna go out of my way and find BBC? No, I, I, just because somebody tells you to do something doesn't mean you do it. And like, I get it. It's not as bad as like injecting yourself with drugs and stuff, sure. But this is still not very good. More in there. And we're gonna eat all this in the ASMR section. So do check that. I got some yummy. Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. Hands, by the way, getting really inflated, as you can see. The, the fat is starting to accumulate in multiple areas. She's been doing this, by the way, for... I think she's been doing it now for about six months in total, dude. And she's been gaining a lot of weight since she started to do it, bro. Damn, dude. Come on. Get some water. That's insane. That's fucking insane, dude. I, you know, I see a lot of people doing this shit. Double dipping and shit like that on top of the burgers or the chicken, the chicken sandwiches. But... What she just did right there was insane, dude. That all over the burger, dude. God damn. Damn. Why even bother? Why even bother wiping your mouth? There's all. There was way too much already on the fucking burger, dude. You didn't need to go any further. It was already sufficient. Oh my. The way she just goes for it is actually insane, dude. And so you guys see what I'm saying when I say that I think this is like fetish content, right? This has to be. There's no other way. This has to be fetish content. If you look in the comment section too for most of her videos, there will be people saying the same thing like, yo, bro, my meat is out right now. My shit is erect. Or there'll be people calling her out and saying things like, dude, this is fetish content. What are you doing? Like, this is gross. This is disgusting. You probably gain. I think in total, she's probably gained like 60 pounds or 80, 60 to 80 pounds since her thinner days um which for a lot of people might not be a lot but it is a lot especially if you start off at like 130 pounds but it is for the money i guess a lot of people are willing to sacrifice potentially years of their life for the sweet not not for the food not for the food this isn't some amberlynn reed shit like amberlynn reed and becky jones will just eat the food because it's good in their mouth but i real deal don't think that this person loves the food to the way that they portray that they do i think honestly speaking they're just doing it for the cash flow because 
there is no way, bro. If you look back at her older stuff, she did nothing about this, dude. She was in shape. She was working out. And anybody that had that type of uh, physique for a prolonged period of time and then immediately started gaining weight like this, it just kind of looks like she's doing this for the cash and for the sexual gratification of many men with meats out while watching her video, of course. I mean, think of like, take, taking the double bite. Before you even finish the first bite is a is a forbidden technique. I feel like you you always got to chew what you got in your mouth. You don't ever go for that second bite unless you're starving, unless you're literally on the brink of death, unless you're literally in a cave with the rest of your guys, right? You're all cavemen or whatever. And if you don't eat this woolly mammoth, this other guy's gonna eat this shit. So you gotta hurry up and munch that shit down. But if you're in the comfort of your own home, it's not going anywhere. Nobody's gonna run into your fucking house, put a gun to your head, and say, "Give me the chicken sandwich." Nobody's doing that. You, you you got enough time, and I understand you got to make it three minutes, but this is insane, dude. This ain't the speed run world record for how to eat a chicken sandwich covered in Chipotle. What is it again? Chick-fil-A ranch sauce? Damn. Like, you see what I'm talking about, dude? Like, the fact that she already had, she didn't even finish chewing that first initial bite. And then she went for the second. And now she's going for the third. The three-bite combo is a forbidden technique. That should never have been... I don't know who who taught her this, but this should have never been something that that was that was unearthed. Cheeks is full up, bro. Oh, oh my God! Fingers in the mouth too. It's got to be fetish content, right? Dude, look. Out of all the people I know in the world, I've only ever met two people that ever try to put their fingers in their mouth while they eat regularly. And I, I've always told them that it's disrespectful when I see that shit. Because, like, here's the thing. A lot of people come at me and they go, David, you don't wash your hands. I know I don't wash my hands. I wash my hands throughout the day, but I'm not, like, a lot of people get upset with me because when I urinate, I don't wash my hands. I don't need to wash my hands. There's no reason for me to wash my hands. There's nothing going on. I'm not beating my meat while I'm in the fucking bathroom, obviously, naturally. Uh, I don't think I could finish in that amount of time. My meat is too big for me to even pick it up. I need to hire, like, a whole entire crane crew to even think about beating my meat. But a lot of people give me shit for that. I don't touch it. I don't touch it. I don't need to wash my hands. But for people like this, right, a lot of people don't – a lot of people will go outside and they'll indulge in the art of opening doors and touching other people and grabbing onto other people's hands and things such and so forth. And then they'll come home and they'll just eat whatever the fuck they want, not even thinking about washing their hands. And then you put their fingers in the mouth. Like it's one thing to have the, fi the hands on the burger. That's all right. But to put the fingers in the mouth is just not right. It's not right. But at least she doesn't have acrylics. She got three bites in her mouth right now. Crazy. It's good. Chew what you got. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's. Crazy. Mm. Eat what you got. Oh my god. Wow. I would really hate if this girl was a. If this girl was a zombie, it's over. It's game-changing shit after this, dude. I'm actually, personally speaking, I think even before the zombie apocalypse even came out, she would eat five people pre-ordering it. Because this shit is in insane, dude. To take the double, triple, and third, the fourth bite is insane, dude. You already got too much in your mouth. I'm actually surprised the capacity of your cheeks are not filled up to such a degree that you can even put in that fourth bite. That's incredible. And then also, look at the eye contact while she's doing it, dude. Fetish. It's got to be fetish content, right, dude? Come on. Listen. Listen. I'm not joking, all right, dude? I'm not. I'm going to always keep it a buck with you, dude. I know there is a dude right now watching this video. Not my video. Obviously, nobody here is beating near me. But maybe you are. But it's not for this person, right? Right? I know that there are plenty of people in this person's comment section that are going, damn, this shit really hit the spot. Or... My meat flakes are on the floor right now. It's like dandruff on the floor from all the meat flaking because most dudes don't beat off with lotion. I mean, have you ever – like most dudes that will beat off, they're not doing with the lotion because it's just an extra step. Like most dudes are going, I'm just trying to get this shit done, dude. I'm not trying to go above and beyond or whatever, dude. Specifically black guys. Like a lot of black guys I know have a lot of lotions, have a lot of cocoa butter, have a lot of moisturizers and things like that, but you just never see them applying it to the meat. Now, here's the thing. I'm not, like, inspecting black guy meats to ensure that it's properly lubricated or moisturized or whatever, but I've, I've talked to a lot of black guys, and I always ask them, like, do you do you lubricate before you meet meat? And they always tell me, nah, I ain't with that shit. Nah, I would never do that. I, I remember I met one dude that he actually told me it was gay to do that. 
is it gay? I mean, I, I've never thought about doing, I've, I've never thought it was gay to do that shit, but a lot of, a lot of people I know do think it's gay to even have a butthole, so if you're sitting, to be honest, like, moisturizing your meat might just actually be gay it might be gay i don't know leave it down below what do you think about that but uh the the, the definitely the eye contact is, is 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 a key indicator that this person is appeasing men or even women there are women out there that are watching this too come on dude no women might be a little bit less promiscuous in the terms of beating off to to people eating but i still think that it's occurring i still think there's a good amount of women maybe 10 or 15 women I mean, these videos get millions of views, so I wouldn't even be surprised if it was 15 women or 20 women. I mean, I'm definitely thinking it's thousands of dudes, though, 100%, dude. I mean, I was thinking about... Never mind. It's just crazy. That, you might as well just make this... That shit's almost out, too, dude. She literally turned that shit over, and it nothing came out when she squeezed it. She cleaned that shit out, bro. She cleaned it. Damn, man. You might as well just pop the top. Just make that the drink. You don't even need that diet, whatever she said, Dr. Pepper. You don't need that. You got this. You just drink this shit. Man, oh my God. Why even bother? Keep, keep, keep the white shit on your mouth. You know that shit's gonna increase revenue. hyperventilating over the fucking food. Yeah. I mean, think about how fast she was able to eat this shit down. Do you think you could eat that shit? And I think that's actually a minute and a half. Like, we're at a minute and a half in the video right now. How the fuck did she manage to eat that chicken sandwich coated in ranch? Coated, by the way. I, I didn't even see most of it drip. I think some of it dripped a little bit, but most of that ranch was on the, on the food itself. Isn't that's insane, dude? It's just crazy. Oh my god, that's insane. This is what TikTok is nowadays. Okay, let this sink in for a second. This is what TikTok is nowadays. A bunch of people. I don't know why it's so trendy for this shit, but this is what you see on TikTok, and it's really sad to see, bro, because there's a lot of people on TikTok, older people, younger people, that are not gonna be stable-minded enough to know that this shit is fucking crazy, dude. This is actually insane. A lot of people are not gonna do that. And when I see people like this body washing thousands of calories, I mean, that chicken sandwich alone, think about how many servings of ranch that shit was, bro. I mean, you literally look at it, each squirt is like 500, 600 calories of ranch. I'm not joking. I'm not fucking joking. A tablespoon of ranch is 100 calories. She just literally squirted onto that shit like nine tablespoons each time she squirted that shit easily. I mean, I wouldn't even, I don't even want to think about how many calories the ranch are. That's insane. The chicken sandwich is probably sitting at 1,000 calories or more. So, I mean, to be honest, like the chicken sandwich alone plus all the ranch, you might be looking at two to 3,000 calories of just fucking just that. Yeah, she still got the fries and a macaroni and cheese and a cheese sauce, bro. I don't even know what the drink is doing at this point. You gotta take a shower after this, bro. You gotta brush your teeth five times. Damn. I get it. Chick-fil-A is good, but this shit ain't that good. Damn, that's insane, bro. Didn't eat no ketchup. Don't need ketchup, dude. The cheese dip is the ketchup, bro. Holy shit. Damn. She's cleaning that shit. Damn. Oh my god. Have you ever seen something like this? I bet, I bet if you sh if you went to like the zoo, right, and you just took your phone, pulled up this video, and showed it to like a lion, that lion would be like, yeah, bro, you know I'm the king of the jungle, right? You know I'm the biggest, baddest motherfucker out here. I got bitches all over the place. All the bitches want my dick because I eat so <gasps> Oh my God, who is that? Don't ever bring that bitch in here, ever. I'm the king of the jungle. If that bitch came in here, I'm, I'm finished. I'm finished. I won't be able to mate ever again. All of my babies will then be eaten by this woman. Because this sheer amount of calories that she's able to consume. I mean, this is serious, bro. This is insanely serious. Diabetic. All 
Oh, okay. We got some a sriracha on that. Yep, might as well. I mean, fuck it. Mouth is mouth is basically just a cauldron of calories right now. Damn, finish the fries, is insane, dude. Still got the macaroni and cheese, guys. We ain't done yet. That's crazy, bro. You don't gotta go so fast, bro. You don't. You could just end the video here. You know that. Damn. I don't, I don't want to stop fast foods for like, I don't want companies to stop making food. I don't like, I think Mickey D's is good. Sometimes I think like Chick-fil-A is good sometimes, but to sit here and see how some people abuse that shit, it, it, it's kind of crazy, bro. I mean, anything in life can be abused. Uh, like for instance, pornography is not a bad thing unless you abuse it. Video games are not a bad thing unless you abuse it, right? A relationship is a great thing unless you abuse it like there are plenty of things in life that are perfectly fine within moderation but once you start going a little bit above and beyond then shit starts getting serious then you start then you start running into real deal big problems so for this girl man it, it's tough to watch because like i said I, I genuinely don't think she's doing this shit because she likes eating i think she's doing it for the money oh my god like, she already got so much in the mouth. And keep in mind, I don't know if she, <laughs> I don't know if she's, like, I hope she's, I don't even know what, what would be beneficial here to say. But a lot of times, people that do mukbangs like this, okay, they're not actually eating the food. They might be eating a little bit, they cut, they eat a little bit, they cut, and then every time they cut, they're not swallowing it. They're, they're maybe swallowing a little bit of it, but they're usually not eating at all. For this girl, I genuinely don't think that she fits in that category. I think that she's actually swallowing down that food. I mean, we literally just saw like an uncut version of her swallowing down that chicken sandwich. No, no cuts, no pauses, dude. A consistent like one minute and a half of her just swallowing down, coated in ranch. Same thing here, bro. I mean, I don't know. It's tough. It's real tough for me to see this shit, bro, because she is hurting herself. That's crazy, bro. Look at me in the eyes when you eat that shit. I get a little bit creeped out when people look at me in the eyes when I'm like, and during sexual activity, it's kind of weird, right? You ever kiss somebody? You ever kiss somebody and then when you open your eyes, you realize they had their eyes open too? That's the weirdest shit in the world, isn't it? Is that not weird? That's fucking weird. I do that a lot just because I think it's funny. But a lot of people, dude, when you're doing sexual activity, a lot of people like the eye contact. I get a little bit freaked out about it. So I'm just like, oh, damn, that's just too good. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, get away. Like, you know, like, let me uh, stop. What are you doing? What the fuck are you looking at me? Stop looking at me. That's what it, that's what it is for me. It's really not. If you're, listen, if you're, if you're getting performed fellatio, and the girl got a buzz cut and you look down she's looking like bill cosby sometimes it's not the best it sometimes it's not the best okay and i think any guy will profess to this um sometimes because a lot of girls nowadays are like new spirited women and they like to buzz cut their hair if you're doing it from the back and you look down and then you're like you think you're doing well you think you're doing real well and then you look down and then you realize this girl looks like my best friend from the back you know what i'm talking about like this girl looks like my friend and then you start thinking am i gay like is this a man and then you look down just to make sure but then you see a butthole and you're like i am gay and then you realize wait nope there's a vagina there but by that point you've lost it and then she goes what's the matter and you go i gotta go to the bathroom real quick i forgot to use the bath i gotta take a giant shit i'll be back in like i don't know five minutes you go to the bathroom and then you're like you're looking at yourself and you're like what is wrong with me I gotta get back, I gotta get my head in the game. You you bring up on your phone, you listen to fucking that one song from High School Musical, get your head in the game, right? That's the one they were playing basketball, where they were playing baseball and shit, right? Zach Efron and shit, Cord and Blue. And then you just start slapping your shit, just just trying to get that shit up and running again. But you can't you can't get the image out of your head. Like this is my best friend. You know? I went to I went to middle school with this dude, bro, and now I'm I'm having sex with him, but it's not it's not him. It's it's a woman, it's a woman, you know? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, this is that before and after, dude. Um, look at look at the look at the shape. Look at the size. Look at the look at the look at the definition, bro. This is the, this is literally not too long ago. This is like six seven months ago, dude. 
And then you see her now, bro. She got the fat on the face. She got the fat on the neck. She got the fat on the gut. She got the, the love handles, bro. Uh, underneath the armpits, man. You got all of it, dude. She gaining so much weight because she want to eat. Because she know that that shit makes money. And then we, here we are right now. Look at that shit. Damn, bro. I'm telling you, dude. Damn, bro. That hair looking fucking burnt. That shit is crisp. That shit is crunchy, bro. Wow. But that's what happens, bro. When you when you slip down a hole and you realize, like, damn, I'm really, I'm really making more money than I ever made before doing this content. But I wasn't making shit when I was doing the fitness content. I might as well just keep doing this. Then you turn gay, right? That's how it that's how it always happens, bro. I swear, bro. It's like you do pornography and they're like, man, yeah, you can have sex with girls. We'll give you ten dollars for that. But if you come over here and you suck off this guy just once, just once, we'll fucking pay you. 2500 2500 to do this shit and then you go i mean that's a lot of money just for one meat in my mouth that's not too bad and then you do it and then you keep having to come back and suddenly after six months doing that you're gay it's like that dude it's like anything in life it happens like that man it's tough She's starting to get a little bit, you know, she's starting to get a little bit of mid-drift going on, dude. That's just starting to hang down a little bit. Damn. Oof. Wingstop. I heard Wingstop is good, but... Like, I heard Wingstop is good, but I, I don't really go to fast food places very often. Like, I, at all. Like, I probably went to... Like, the last fast food restaurant I went to was, like, Wendy's, and that was, like, two months ago. And that was pretty good. Dave's Double. That's just pretty good. I know it's, like, 890 calories. But listen, okay? Look at me. I can handle that. Two meats in your mouth. Man, she's like speed running that shit. Damn, the double dip is insane, bro. That's crazy. The double dip in different in different sauces. That's insane. Food's not going anywhere, man. Damn. Man, I'm just not into it. I'm just, I'm just not into it, dude. Like, there's a lot of people out there that are into watching people eat food. For me, personally, I get nothing out of this, dude. It's like when a girl sucks my nipples. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, like, what are you doing right now? I got nothing. Like, is it working for you? Nah. I don't even know what you're doing right now. Now, I'm actually really upset now because now I have to wipe away my nipples from all the slobbering that you did. It's not beneficial for me. It's like when a girl sucks my neck. I don't like it. I don't know why you thought. Did, uh, nothing. Literally nothing. I actually don't like it now because it's like it's wet. Ugh. Damn, bro. That shit is coated, bro. It's already cheese fries, too, man. It's already cheese fries. And I think she probably coated this with the rest of that uh, Chick-fil-A sauce, I suppose, man. I mean, to be honest, it could literally be anything at this point, dude. It doesn't matter. There's no hope. And the gods, the gods in Olympus have abandoned us. Now there is no hope. This shit is life-changing shit, bro. Like, you guys think that this is an anomaly. But, like, then once you start going down the rabbit hole of muckbangers, you start realizing, like, when you saw Remo. When I saw Remo, right, I was like, damn, this is a... What the fuck? And then I saw Howitay Bay, Howitay Bay. Iku, Iku, Iku. That one black girl that twerks on her husband and shit like that. Uh, dude, I thought that was an anomaly. I thought this was like a once in a lifetime thing. But then you go on TikTok a little bit, you search a little bit, and you realize, holy shit, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out there. Mostly women. I almost never see dudes doing this shit. I don't think there's really a market for, it's a niche market. It's a niche market for people to be beaten off to dudes like that's gay first of all unless you know you're a woman of course but if you're a dude beating off to men with the you know uh, the, with, with a few exceptions it's uh usually gay it's so you you're usually gay and most dudes are not gay not that there's anything wrong with being gay but personally speaking i'm not gay i mean you could be gay i'm not gay i would never do that but if you're sitting there mostly women we notice um i don't know dude like do you not feel bad knowing that the content that you're creating is fetish content dude like there's a lot of people out there that are just watching this just for this reason like it's all right don't get me wrong like do what you want to do it's as long as it's within tos i don't care but uh dude it's kind of deplorable activity you know what i'm talking about it's like farting on cakes like i'm not sure like you could do it but it's like why
Damn, that hair is burnt the fuck up. What you do to that shit? Damn. The mouth noises are what's really... Yeah, you already got like three or four different bites in that shit. Can we swallow? Swallow. Just swallow that shit. Damn, man. It's every man's dream right here, dude, obviously. Oh, my God. Oh, she got the cheese sauce. She ain't finished yet. Dip it in the cheese sauce. Damn, that fry is literally hanging out for dear life. You see that shit? He been marinated. Oh. Just eat the paper. Eat the paper, too. All right, man. That's, that's it. You know, I don't know, man. This is the content that's really, like, acceptable now on TikTok. And I guess other platforms, too. And I guess here, too. But we're not really... I mean, we're making fun of it, right? That's what we're doing here. We don't really condone this type of shit. But regardless, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff. I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in spoon. Spoon spoon i know a lot of people don't like spoons because they're not as good as forks because forks are a little bit more versatile but i think spoons should get a little bit more respect i think spoons personally speaking are optimal for a lot of different types of foods and even in places where forks are involved they might be beneficial to use a spoon too so don't sleep on the spoon and also i want to talk about your beauty real quick i think personally speaking uh food should just be delivered to you and i think that beauty product should be modeled after your beauty first and foremost because your beauty is paramount and amazing and spectacular and you smell really good by the way i love that aroma what is that aroma can i just scrape off some of your aroma some of your aura so i can coat it upon myself just to get a little bit of sensation i would really appreciate that but anyway guys we're going to end the video here. Um, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.